Sabine, oh, wohin gehst du? Wohin gehst du? Sabine, oh, was tust du nur? Was tust du nur? Die Worte, die du heute singst. Sabine, nein, I mean, what did you say? We know that length contraction is real. A moving object really is shorter. Do we now? <laughs> I mean, okay, that's what Einstein said, but that doesn't mean he was right. I will prove that to you in a second. But you can't blame Einstein for the other wild claims you made. The penrose Terrell effect, which is also not real, but let's not get ahead of myself. So an object appears moving at near speed. Light appears rotated as it flies past. And some, shall we say scientists, claim to have proven that recently. And that got zero out of 10 on the bullshit meter. Nah, Sabine, 10 out of 10 is more like it. That requires some help. It's me, can you send Einstein's spirit up here? Eh, hey, which Einstein? No, not the dog from Back to the Future, the relativity Einstein. Yes, now. The error, Sabine, is really simple. To define simultaneity in the stationary system, Einstein correctly established symmetry. Light travel time from A to B is equal to B back to A. However, he then imposed this same symmetry as a definition upon the moving system, where the distances traveled by light are geometrically unequal due to motion. Even Einstein would agree with, so let's ask him. Grüß Gott, was ist nun los? Excellent, you hear. Your postulation about length contraction from 1905 was a mathematically required invention to reconcile the in fact flaw in your initial definition. Right? <laughs> Ach, if you say it this way, perhaps flaw is a strong word. Oversight? Yeah, why not? See, Sabine. And that's why Penrose Terrell is also nonsense, and the paper that confirms it as well. If you want to read up on it, here is the link. So, Herr Einstein, what other skeletons do you have in the closet? Gar nix. Nothing at all. I don't believe a word. 